Hello, this is Neil Vanderstelt, author of Global Economic Collapse, The New Dark Ages. I am a full-time geopolitical researcher and follower of the global economy. My next book will be called The Glass Banking Pyramid, subtitled Modern Serfdom, Soft Fascism. Do you know what a serf is? Do you know what fascism is? Are you a serf? Is your leader a fascist? What about your banking situation? Who controls your money supply? All things you better start asking if you want to live in a real country, so to speak. What people died to live in, in the millions. And now we're setting up to have World War III all over again. They said in the first world war, never again. They said in the next world war after that, never again. But look all around the world. Everyone's lining up for war. Here's an article by Polina Tikhanova. Tikhanova, I can never say her name. World War III, Russia is officially ready. She's even on my friends list. <laughs> I'm going to read her article. Um, I might not read it, but I'll, I'll just check out her map. You can go there and read it at valuewalk.com. World War III, Russia is officially ready. Let's just show the map of the lined up parties. So, Soviet, USA, British, French. That's 1945. <laughs> I feel like we're in 1945, though. It says, with reports that Russia is deploying its deadly, deadliest weapons to Syria, Syria, there are high chances that World War III is coming. And Russia is among the few ones who is actually ready for it. I'm going to jump down an article and read this part. Russia will use nuclear weapons if necessary, but Russia is prepared for World War III in case Turkey provokes one. Russia President Vladimir Putin has already deployed ships and submarines capable of launching nuclear missiles in case Turkey decides to strike Russia positions Russian positions under the cover, uh, cover of NATO and the, alliance, the Alliance's fifth article, according to Escobar. But President Putin has been clear. Russia will use nuclear weapons if necessary if conventional forces are threatened. The author, author reminds, warning that if any NATO member state decides to destroy yet another SU-24 or SU-34, Moscow will simply clear the airspace all across the border via the S-400s. Looking down at the article, it says Russia can destroy New York in 18 minutes, but NATO and the Pentagon are actually terrified to fight Russia. Since they are aware of the tremendous heavy metal Russia may unleash if Putin is provoked, according to Escobar. So what is so terrifying about Russia's military capabilities? Let's take Russia's SS-18 for starters. The Pentagon has already named the missile Satan because it is capable of destroying an area the size of New York State. The SS-18 missile carries 10 warheads, each having a force ranging from 750 to 1,000 kilotons. While some of these missiles have a single secret deadly 20,000 kiloton warhead. And that's 
1,333 times Hiroshima. World War 